Okay, so I have an awesome idea, but in order to make that awesome idea happen, I need to make some black powder. Let me explain. So I literally called every gun store in town trying to find someone who's got some black powder. And as it turns out, nobody sells true black powder anymore. Like, you can still get it, but it's hard to get. We don't have it anywhere around here. And in order to buy it off the internet, the shipping would have been outrageous. So we're gonna get all the stuff and things we need and we're gonna make our own black powder. So in order to make black powder, we're gonna need three things. We need some potassium nitrate. You can buy this uh, anywhere at your local lawn and garden center. It's sold as stump remover. Just make sure you check the label and find the one that says 100% potassium nitrate. You'll also need a little bit of sulfur. Now this you can buy online. It's actually sold in chunks, uh, at least the place where I bought it from. So have a look around. You can, you can get a little bit of sulfur. It's not too bad. And we're not gonna need that much in order to make uh, the little bit of gunpowder that we're gonna make today. The other item we'll need is some charcoal. Now charcoal's pretty readily available, but you don't wanna use the charcoal briquettes. I would recommend getting some hobby charcoal. It's actually sold at art centers. You can get charcoal that's made for drawing with, and you can grind that up. Now since I'm using 40 grams of potassium nitrate, that works out to be about 8 grams of charcoal and we'll also need about 5.3 grams of sulfur. Now I'm just using a screen here that I have that fits over my beaker and grinding that across the screen. That produces rather fine particles of charcoal, and in this case, we want that. We actually want our charcoal to be rather small. Uh, that's the, also the reason why I'm going to have to grind up this potassium nitrate and the sulfur. So I'm going to grind some potassium nitrate. We'll get that all taken care of. Then we have to grind the sulfur. Now you'll notice there's a lot less sulfur. I actually had to do some math in order to figure out how much of this we need. So I put the ratios in the description for you and you can see them here. Okay, now that we have everything ground up, we're going to mix it all. Now, the charcoal is pretty fine and we have to be careful with that. We're actually gonna stir really slowly just so that we don't make a mess because we don't wanna be breathing that charcoal dust. It's pretty bad. I think it gives you the black lung. I don't know, I could be wrong. That's just a guess. Oh, it's all coming together so beautifully. Look at that. We have a very nice, fine mixture of a black powder, which is exactly what we're going for. It's 75% potassium nitrate, 10% sulfur, and 15% charcoal. All mixed up very thoroughly, and I think now it should be about time to go test it out. So now we got black powder. Let's see if it burns.
All right, guys, I would definitely call that a win. We were able to make some good gunpowder, or black powder in this case. It's very, very dark. It's very black in color, so um, not only does it look good, it burns pretty good, too. But all said and done, I think this is a very successful week. We did pretty good on making some black powder, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had some fun and learned a lot along the way. It was pretty interesting to learn about the history of gunpowder. It's, uh, it's been around for centuries. We actually used it back in the 10th century over in China. It was where it was first discovered. They used it to make fire arrows, which that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, but it wasn't until about the 1800s or so that we started calling it black powder. And black powder was used, of course, not only in war for uh, guns and that sort of thing, but also for cannons, which is a little bit piratey, which I like. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned because I've got something crazy coming up that we're going to do using some black powder or something super fun that I've been planning for a while, but I've been waiting until I get to 100 subscribers. If I'm not quite there yet, I haven't posted that video, which means you guys need to share this one. Uh, or pick your favorite video and share that. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, and I thank you so much for your support. You guys have been amazing. We're almost to 100, and when we get there, we're going to do something really fun with this black powder. So thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. And uh, if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that little subscribe button over there in the corner. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.